Hey guys, yesterday we started with a clean wall over here and uh, we installed the 8 kilowatt sun sink inverter. Uh, there is a temporary internet router on there just to monitor the thing. For now, this is just in a test phase. That's also why there's two ugly wires coming out of it. One is going directly to a wall socket a plug of the house and the other one is just powering the router. Uh, just to check if everything is running smoothly, uh, the electrician will come and install this DB or isolator box over there connected to the house, to the earth neutral bond for the inverter. Uh, oh, actually, this 8 kilowatt, I don't think it needs an earth neutral bond, but uh, yeah. So then, uh, what else can I show you? This is the solar box with the SPD and solar breaker just there. We install the main fuse and each battery is fused on its own with uh, the cables running to the main fuse and the batteries is not connected to each other. Reboff really recommend that you rather do or connect these batteries to a bus bar and we are using the bottom part of the fuse to do that because it's got enough space for two wires. The reason why we installed the batteries are far furthest on that side is to leave space for another 8 or another 5 kilowatt Revolf R100 and uh, that will then boost the capability of the inverter because this is 8.8 .8 kilowatt and the batteries is only I think max 8 kilowatt that they can give out continuously 4000, 4000 watt so yeah that's why we left a little space there when the finances come and then we'll, uh, we'll do that and then we go into the inverter. Um, you'll see there, uh, we, can, we can still install some trunking, some trunking like this on, on this side. And then the electrician can also install his nice box maybe there. And then the whole thing will have this linear, nice and clean look uh, up to the wall. Uh, the power should go out that way in any case. So that'll be a, a nice look. And uh, yeah, we can quickly have a look at the solar panels. Okay, so this is a IBR, an IBR roof with also the KD bracketing solution. As you can see here, it's a direct on roof installation, so no need for A-frames. And then they've only got four screws per bracket and not eight. For the A-frame bracket, you need one, the one with the eight screws. And uh, yes, then it just clips into the rails and you attach the panels or lay them down on that with the side and middle clamps. All these clamps are now going to be uh, torqued to spec. Um, I normally do it between 6 and 8 Newton meters. And uh, yeah, we'll quickly do that. There we go. So all of them will just torque them all to 8 newton meters but first I do the alignment of the panels but uh, yeah first one needs to be fastened before all of that all done all torqued and aligned looking good and uh, at the moment I just switched them on so um, yeah they're not drawing a lot of power at the moment but it's just six panels in any case, six, uh, 545 watts. So the batteries are already full and we're just waiting and uh, just maybe drawing a little bit of power on this inverter and see that everything is working nicely before we just go ahead. But everything is, is, uh, is ready for the main connection. Good, so yeah, thanks for watching. Um, maybe I'll do the, a quick short of the final product and just show you how the or what the electrician did how it looks afterwards but this is just uh just a, up, uh, a little show off of what we did on this wall thanks for watching